these sleek, noiseless machines represent a futuristic shift in the automotive industry, promising a cleaner and greener tomorrow. However, as we explore deeper into the electric cars of tomorrow, it's crucial to shine a light on the other side of the coin, the drawbacks and challenges that these vehicles still face. Join us on a journey as we uncover the not-so-glamorous aspects of electric cars and explore whether the electric dream is as flawless as it appears or if there are obstacles yet to be overcome. Stay tuned until the end, because we're about to examine a fascinating journey through the twists and turns on the path to an all-electric world. The exciting future of electric cars. Electric vehicles, EVs, are on the rise, and the global market for them is growing rapidly, with a yearly increase of around 21.7%. This growth is predicted to continue, with the number of EVs on the road projected to reach 39.21 million by 2030, up from the current 8.1 million. Many factors are contributing to this surge, including concerns about pollution. Today, you'll see a wide variety of electric cars on the streets. As countries like the UK set deadlines for ending the sale of traditional gasoline and diesel vehicles by 2030, the transition to electric is in full swing. More investment is being poured into electric cars, resulting in lower costs and a wider range of models. Additionally, there's a growing network of charging stations to make owning an electric car more convenient. Hybrid. Electric vehicles, HEVs, are another interesting option. The gasoline engines and electric motors in these cars work together to save fuel and cut pollution. They offer a balance between the power and range of conventional cars and the benefits of lower fuel consumption and fewer emissions. While HAVs can be pricier upfront compared to traditional cars, some of these costs can be offset by fuel savings or government incentives. So, as the world shifts toward greener transportation, you'll have a variety of electric and hybrid options to choose from, making it easier than ever to embrace a more sustainable way of getting around. Additionally, it's been suggested that once owning an electric car becomes cheaper than having a gasoline-powered one, many more folks will make the switch. Affordable electric cars. People are increasingly considering electric cars to save money. It's been suggested that once owning an electric car becomes cheaper than having a gasoline-powered one, many more folks will make the switch. According to Consumer Reports, in the US, we've already reached that point, and the Wall Street Journal agrees, pointing out the role of federal tax credits. Let's break down some numbers. A basic Ford F-150 Lightning EV starts at about $42,000. And if you're looking at the XLT model, it's around $55,000. Meanwhile, the Rivian begins at $67,500, Tesla's Cybertruck is priced at $39,900, and the GMC Hummer comes in at $79,295. Keep in mind that additional options and charges can affect these prices. But it's becoming clearer that electric cars are becoming more affordable compared to their gasoline counterparts. Furthermore, even with this growth, we're still not quite there to meet the growing demand for electric cars. Keeping up with charging infrastructure. When it comes to electric cars, one big question is whether there are enough places to charge them. Think of it like a chicken or the egg situation. Do we need more electric cars first or more charging stations? Well, there are some good signs that more public charging spots are popping up. A report claims the number of public electric car charging stations EVSE, grew by 7.6% in the first three months of 2020. These stations include those speedy direct current fast chargers, which can juice up your battery quickly, and they increased by 10.6%. Places like California led the way, boosting their charging spots by 9%. But even with this growth, we're still not quite there to meet the growing demand for electric cars. In fact, an article warns that a shortage of charging stations could slow down the adoption of electric vehicles. Now, there are three kinds of places to charge your phone. First, there are level one chargers, which are the slowest. They use a regular 125V outlet, like you'd find in your home in the US, 
and add about two to five miles of driving range for every hour of charging. Then there are level two chargers, which are faster and use a 240V outlet. They can add around 10 to 60 miles of range per hour of charging. Lastly, there are DC fast chargers, DCFC, which are super quick. They use 480 V and can add about 180, 240 miles of range in just one hour. Right now, most electric car owners in the US charge their vehicles at home, mainly using level one or level two chargers. But as more people switch to electric cars, especially those who don't live in houses, we'll need many more public charging stations to keep up with the demand. Lastly, it's essential to remember that government incentives can vary and not all regions provide financial benefits for choosing electric cars, potentially affecting the overall cost of ownership. Electric car drawbacks. Electric cars have a lot of benefits, but they also come with some downsides that you should keep in mind before deciding to buy one. Here are the main reasons. Limited charging points. Finding a charging station can be tricky, especially in rural or suburban areas. So, if you're on a long trip and run out of charge, you might be in a tough spot. It's a good idea to have charging station maps handy for where you live and where you frequently go. Higher initial cost. Electric cars can be expensive. Even the more affordable ones can cost around $30,000 to $40,000, and fancy models can go for $80,000 or more. While the prices are coming down, they're still pricier than traditional gasoline cars. Electricity costs. Charging your electric car can add to your monthly electricity bill, especially if your car needs a big charge. It's something to consider for your budget. Limited range and speed. Most electric cars can only go around 50, 100 miles before needing a recharge, which can be limiting for longer journeys. Speed can also be a bit of an issue compared to gas cars. Long charging time. Unlike filling up with gas, Charging an electric car can take four to six hours or even longer if you don't have a dedicated charging station. It can be quite inconvenient. Silent operation. While the quietness of electric cars is peaceful, it can be a drawback for pedestrians who rely on hearing a car's noise, especially if it's coming from behind. Mostly two-seaters. Many electric cars are small and designed for two passengers. Adding a third person can be uncomfortable. Battery replacement. Electric car batteries might need replacing every three to 10 years, which can be a significant future cost. Not suitable for power scarce cities. Cities with power shortages aren't the best for electric cars since they need electricity to charge. Limited customization. You have fewer options to customize the look of your electric car compared to traditional cars, but this might change over time. Minimal pollution. Electric cars aren't entirely pollution-free as they indirectly create some pollution through the manufacturing and charging process. Government incentives. Vary. Not all governments offer incentives for electric car purchases, so that the higher upfront cost might be a bigger burden in some areas. So, before you go electric, Make sure to consider these factors to decide if an electric car is the right choice for you. How might the future of electric cars evolve to address some of the current drawbacks and limitations? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Tap the bell icon to turn on notifications to stay updated with all our latest videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.